Hi, welcome to this again to the studio of Art by Wendy. My name is Wendy Mould and I'm really excited to spend the time with you today. The uh, activity I have for you is called putting more intuitive painting into your work. This is something that's very dear to me as I feel that lots of time my work is very contrived, especially working in the studio. When I'm outdoor sketching, it seems to be far easier to be intuitive. Anyway, I think you're going to enjoy this little activity. Isn't it kind of fun? It's a mixture of my mushrooms, nature walks, and those kind of things with some fun things to do. So I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. Let's get started. So today I'm using my um, experimental sketchbook. This is one that I made myself and it's got lots of different kinds of papers in it. I really enjoy working with it. For this particular project, I've uh, got an extended page here, and I've started off using one of my pieces of paper from a monotype that I did. And if you're interested in doing monotypes, I do have a video on YouTube which explains how to, to do this. It's using acrylic paint, and as you can see, you get some really interesting bits of paper which I today I'm going to rip up and use as part of my background. Just a little something so I'm not starting off with a plain white paper. So I have some tacky glue here to glue those on and um, so we'll get started. My goals for working on this project is really to get loose again and to get that free spirit I find as I move inside after sketching outdoors, working in the studio, things become very tight and I just don't seem to have that bouncy looseness in my work that I want to have. So that is my goal today, is to get some of that looseness. And to just to remind myself, I'm going to actually write down some of the phrases that I'm trying to uh, incorporate in my work today. The one is playfulness. I want to be able to play and just have a little bit of fun with some of my colors and just relax is another word that I want to put in there. Not feel that stress of doing something perfect. Uh, just um, enjoying it and joyful. That is my other key word here. So those are my key goals for this assignment. Well, I shouldn't say assignment for this activity is to feel playfulness, joyfulness, and to relax. Get rid of that stress of preciousness. My subject, which I've decided to use, and is mushrooms. And for me, um, out walking at this time of year, it's fall. We see lots of mushrooms. Every day, new ones seem to be popping up. They've got lots of interesting colors and shapes. I really enjoy them. So that is why I've picked mushrooms. And I'm not even sure why I decided to start in the middle panel, but that's part of being intuitive. You just go where you feel like you want to do and start it off with just a simple little mushroom just to get myself drawing and to get a feel for what I'm going to do. So here's my little guy, and I don't even know if you noticed, but there's lots of uh, little errors in the ink work drawing that I did, but you probably won't even see them once I add some color. So I'm going to do my little mushroom and even as I started to do them, I started to feel a story coming on. I needed a little cluster up on the side because that's what you see when you're walking. You see these little clusters and there'll be groups of three and four even. It almost reminds me of a little village or a family to see these little guys hooked up on the edge of a stump or on a log just in little clusters, big ones, small ones, mom, dad, the grandma, all there. And then of course, once I started playing with this little guy, I wanna add some different shapes, get away from my constant uh, rigid realism kind of things. And so doodle in a few things, add a bit of uh, dark marks and sketching. And then I thought, hmm, why not? make a bit of a story here. I've got this flap coming down and I think it might be a, a nice thing to have another one hidden underneath it. 
So that's what I'm doing now is adding that other one. Oh, by the way, you did notice me using that white acrylic pen. Those white gel pens are really nice on the darker paper. And I just love the way it popped out as soon as I added that bit of white. So here's my big mushroom tucked away, half on peeking out of the slide of this uh, flap here. And my story is really beginning. I'm starting to get quite excited. It's fun to play with just doing some lines and squiggles. And of course, got to have mum and dad. So there's mum or dad, not sure which, completely hidden under the flap. And just the little baby sitting there out by himself. As you work on projects like this, it's always re important to remember that this is for you. You can work at any speed and any rate. Don't think that I finished this whole project in one setting. I move back and forth. I come back at it. I have some ideas. I try different things. After I drew this little monkey, uh, this mushroom section, I wanted to get my colors on there. I needed to have that uh, little shot of color. I use watercolor pencils because I like the fact that you can just scribble the color down and you can mix different combinations. And of course, once you activate it with the watercolor brush, it's really exciting to watch the colors merge and blend. I really enjoy that. Another thing I did when I was working on this project is I just looked at Google mushrooms and found some different shapes and fun things that I could put in there. And then I worked them in to my setting. Interesting things started to happen as I moved on to the second part of my uh, pages. Uh, one of the things I noticed is look how effective that overlapping of just those little shapes onto the next page. It helped to draw the pages together and make it become one big scene. I also liked doodling in amongst the color that was on my collage paper as it began to look like something organic, almost like a tree, a shrub, a shrub, shrub or a stump. And I thought it was kind of interesting how that worked out. And then of course, sticking in all these interesting little mushrooms. I love the little chubby ones. And this one here is going to be one of my long skinny ones. And they're kind of fun to just see how they all blend together. The ones in the middle are more my realistic uh, kind of mushrooms and these ones are other ones are more kind of the fun things. I like that kind of mix, especially on this kind of work. In terms of colors, I was really guided by the background colors that were on that collage paper, and I tried to kind of carry them into the work that I was doing, uh, and with a bit of brighter colors as well as softer muted tones. The um, the other thing that I, I like to do is I was starting to get more playful, which again, stepping out of my realism goal. And if you notice, I've put little doodles here and there. And as I think of other things to doodle, I add them to the page. And I, I'm actually creating a bit of a fantasy world. It goes with my story of my mushrooms. I was really starting to have fun with that. But again, you can see that I'm, I'm very... Um, I like my my doodles, but I, I don't get too carried away with them. And I particularly like the ones that I started to uh, use in the, the background, which you'll see in a few minutes. And I carried them over to the other pages as well, and I really found that was quite a unifying thing. So watch for that once I start to add that. At this point, you can see that I'm really starting to slip into a more intuitive kind of approach. I'm just looking for little things to add to each of the pages and starting here and moving over to there and back and forth. Some of the steps that I'll be doing this point is almost to unify or as I work in one spot, it's like, oh, I should do that in another spot too. I loved doing uh, doodle marks in the um, marks that were on the collage pages behind in the background. I found that was really interesting. And here's, of course, the little um, doodle that I started to add in this spot here to kind of fill in some of the, the background. And I thought, wow, this is kind of neat. Uh, a few, just a little squiggles here and squiggles there. And I carried this over to the other pages, as you can see. And I was amazed 
at how it really connected all three pages together just to have that bit of common uh, pattern there. And it really um, struck me as how important that was in creating the foreground background in anything you're doing. It doesn't take a lot to create that sense of depth. So that was a kind of interesting um, aha moment as I worked on, on this. I also noticed that I was really gravitated to making organic-like shapes. And as you can see, here I am just doing some organic doodles around the colors. And I was kind of thinking about branches and tree trunks. And all of a sudden that kind of thing seemed to come alive. But this is actually so fun, just running your pen along, grouping up, grabbing clusters of color, and leaving others outside of it. And I must admit, it was a very fun part of the whole thing. As I worked on my project, finishing it up, I was starting to reflect on my goals as well. And I, I, it was kind of interesting to note that the colors I chose for the relaxing page actually are kind of relaxing. And there, I really did notice that I had a playful uh, feeling to it and that I was really starting to use some squiggles and doodles that I wouldn't normally have done if I was doing a more formal kind of piece. And I really um, liked what was happening. Is this project totally done? Probably not. I'm sure in the days to come, if I sit down and look at it, I'll think of a few more doodles that I want to add or maybe touch up a bit more color. Or I'll leave it as it is. It, it doesn't really matter. It, it's mine. It's for my own enjoyment. And I believe me, I had a lot of fun doing it and I really enjoyed what I ended up with. I hope you do too and have fun with your mushrooms in your little fantasy world that you create. Wendy teaches outdoor sketching classes in the summer and she teaches in her studio and online throughout the year. Wendy produces original work in pencil and in watercolor. She completes commission work, particularly pet portraits, and produces cards and prints from some of her work.